Hello, you are welcome to class. Today we are going to make our pants, our basic pants. So we are going to start from the very very beginning. So there's going to be a lot of videos on this lecture at this point. So because we have different type of pants. But we are going to start from the beginning, from the basic, so that we can all understand it as the class go on. So let's get started. I have my fabric here. What do we call pants? A pant is uh, known as, to a layman, is known as a trouser. It can be of any variation. We have different type of pants. We have a trouser, which is just what we all call anything we put on, on the, just like a skirt. So we have different type of uh, pants. We have a trouser, we have a palazzo, we have a pullout, we have a slack, we have a jean. We have different type. It can be fitted. It can be free. It can even look like a skirt. That when it, when the wearer put it on you, we even know it, that the person is putting on the pants. So that is why we call it basically a pant. Anything that replaces a skirt but is underneath, apart from wrapper, is called a pant. Sorry, that is the definition I can give it. So now, a pant, just like any other garment, has a front and a back for this. We have the front bodies, we have the back bodies. So most people do complain that, that their trouser is uh, sagging at the hand. The reason why is that when you have a person with a very large hip, the back and the front are not exact, the same. So that is why some people realize that when they put on their pants, it's always sagging. So, but when you follow all this class in total, you're going to understand how to make pants that won't sag. So now, I said we have a front and the back for this. So we have the front bodies for the pants, which which is made of a two leg, and we also have the back bodies which is also made of two legs. So we have four legs in total. So that is the first thing we should notice. And the second thing we should notice, apart from that, a pant has two a pant has two bodies. We have the front bodies and the back bodies. Two, a pant has a a pant has two legs for the front and for the back. So I'm going to have I'm going to use this to explain it so that we can understand it better. So let's say this is a pant. This is a leg of a pant. So we need this for we need this. We need this four times. We need the front. I'm going to represent it as F. So I'm going to write two. So my chalk is not writing again. Let me use something else. We have two. 